Hey friends, Jennifer here with Murillo Family Farm. I'm just kind of sitting around hanging out with the the animal babies today and um, I'm in the process of getting ready to leave the house soon. I have to still do something with my hair but um, I was contacted by a mutual Facebook friend that I talk to every now and then um, just about different animals that might be available. He works at um, uh, an auction locally, well, within about 45 minutes away, which is local. Um, but anyways, he contacted me today telling me that he had a mini jersey that was seven months pregnant that is two years old. So he is only 26 minutes away from me, and I'm going to be leaving here shortly to go see her. So I'm pretty excited about that. I really hope that um, she's what I'm looking for. I hope her personality is good. So I'm not gonna rush into anything. I'm gonna make sure that she'll allow me to touch her and that she'll you know, eat from my hand and let me touch her everywhere. And I'm gonna try to touch her udder without getting kicked. So this should be slightly interesting. Um, but she is two years old, she's young, she's trainable. Um, but we're just gonna feel her out and as long as she's a good fit and she does look pregnant, then we are gonna be getting her hopefully this weekend. And he even said that he would deliver her for no additional cost, so that's pretty awesome too. We are waiting on our new arrival. I did go and I did take a video, but I did not take a video of the cow that we're getting, as mindless as that is. I was taking a video for my husband of a bull that he has. I didn't give an answer, um, and I want my husband to check him out before I make that decision because um, I just don't want a bull to be in my hands. That's got to be something that we both agree on together. Um, this this heifer that we're, I don't know, if they're pregnant, are they still considered a cow? Or are they still a heifer because they haven't actually had the calf? Well, this is her first time calving. So, I'm assuming she's considered a cow and not a heifer. Either way, she is on her way here. She is very dirty. Um, she came from auction. So, if you guys have, I've never been to an auction personally, but I've heard a lot about it. I've watched enough on TV to kind of know they're not to be trusted. Like I get all that, but I did, or I am getting her from the, the guy that actually runs the auction and he seems honest enough. Um, I mean, he gave me a lot of information, so I mean, I think, I think she'll be okay. She's two, she's young. She was a little timid, but I was able to touch her everywhere. I touched her sides, I touched her teats. She didn't try kicking or anything like that. Um, she was a little hesitant and standoffish at first, but she warmed up fairly easy. Um, we've dealt with enough. Look at this. Get it for you. Get it, Sergeant. Oh, oh, golly. Get it, Sergeant. He doesn't even care. He's just happy you're home. Somebody's playing with me. Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. All right, break it up. That's He's just a baby, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're all wet from the lady. Disgusting. Look at these two. Ah. I'm going to put Sergeant and Lady in here for more. These two. Whenever they're together, they play nonstop. Lady doesn't get to play with him 24-7. She gets to only come out for like maybe an hour, maybe two with him. That's it. Only because it's really dirty out here and ladies and indoor dog. 
<laughs> That's the truth. Indoor dogs have to stay clean. Can't be around the dirty rough boy. So Sergeant's been on antibiotics for hot spots. And they are already clearing up a little bit. You notice the difference or no? Yeah. He's been on them now for what, three days? Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that spot right there. Oh yeah, I guess it kind of is. So he's very dry skin. Um, we've been, we gave him a bath. He needs another bath. And he's on antibiotics for hot spots, but I also gave him some Brevecto. Um, and he's going to get three months in a row of Brevecto just to be on the safe side. According to my vet, it most likely is not mange. It's most, most likely it is hot spots. Um, I did not bring Sergeant into the vet though because he gets car sick. The funny thing is they both get car sick. Big dogs getting car sick, like big old babies. Big dog mean big puke. It's really gross. They drool. The drooling is out of control. They drool all over the seats. They, and then, then they decide to throw up when it's only like two minutes to the house or literally right about to pull into the driveway. Lady did that to me one time. I thought, oh, she's doing so good. She's not drooling, she's hanging in there. And then lo and behold, I was like just about to pull into the driveway and she got the whole back seat. I'm like, no. So, uh, yep, I have some car sick dogs, so they don't really get to go many places with us, which kind of stinks because I really did want to socialize them really well and get them used to people and stuff like that but they just have to get used to the people that come here and uh unfortunately this is their house so they're pretty protective of their home um what was i gonna say the cow that we're getting she is not as short as duchess and she um she definitely does not resemble duchess at all she's definitely more of that that jersey um, she's light tan with some white markings on her she's really pretty um, she is very very dirty um, that's what I was talking about earlier was the auction and so she's been vet checked and she seems to be okay I mean they didn't test her for any bovine diseases or anything like that uh, the, the guy who's bringing her here we actually both have the same veterinarian um, which is pretty cool. And he swears by him. He actually says he's probably one of the best in Alabama, which is a very good thing to hear. Um, considering, I mean, I'm sure he's not the best in Alabama, but it's a good thing to hear that somebody else trusts him a lot with their animals. And, um, and just another person on the list that verifies that he's a really excellent veterinarian and that it probably is not his fault um, that my cows did not get pregnant with artificial insemination. So, um, so yeah, so our cow that's coming does not have a name or if she does, I certainly don't know what it is. And I'm, I'm sure he doesn't know what it is either. She always wants to be pet. Always wants to be pet. Miss attention girl. And, um, she is supposedly seven months pregnant so she's two years old seven months pregnant could be could be a little bit further along um could be not as far along but either way she, her udder is filling up a little bit so she is definitely pregnant her belly is round but she needs a good bath or at least a good brushing um she is not used to being on a halter or lead but none of my cows that I've had have been, um, and they all warm up fairly easily. So, um, I mean, Duchess now comes up to me out in the pasture without me having food and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it just takes time and patience to get them to get used to you. But once they do, they are good little babies. Okay, she needs to be milked. 
Yeah. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Let's see, can I get under there? Look at that. Huh? Is that all I was looking at? Let's see. <laughs> it's like, what are you looking at down there? Push. She is pushy, isn't she? She will push hey, him. Look, look at him. He's got a whole, whole neck right there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> she loves to bite his legs. He doesn't That's, like it. No, he hates it. He doesn't like it. It's funny, he's though. Like, he's a leg she is a leg biter. So this is her, you guys. She seems to like my husband. Which is good. And she'll get used to me. She's never been halter trained. And, uh, you know, we just got this halter on her. So that wasn't too, too bad. She definitely does better with easy and not forceful. She gets a little nervous, which is understandable. She's a little on the thin side, as you can see. We'll put some weight on her, give her some sweet feed and some cattle cubes. And um, I have a really good clay and loose mineral salt. I've been able to pet her since she's been here. And as you can see, he's petting her. So she does have some scratches on her side that I did not notice when I went to go see her. Um, I'm new to all this stuff, you know, so I don't really know what I'm really looking for. I just wanted to make sure that she had a decent udder. Tie her up on that, that post over there in the shade. Go on. So as you can see, she has some pretty markings on her. But these these marks here, I did not see those. Because when he had her tied up at the barn, this side was up against the wall. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Where'd you put Sergeant? In your... Come on. I'm going to take you to the feet. Come on. So, this spot right here, we're going to put some ointment on it. Clear her up. I have seen her kick, so I don't want to stand, you know, like right... Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Easy, easy. Easy. There you go. That's it. in this one. Oh, look. You get all that yummy good stuff. It's all right. It's just a camera. Just a camera. Hey. All right. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. This is going to take a minute for her to get used to. So... She's really never been tied up too much before. As you can see, let me get a, here's her udder. I don't know what those red marks are on her udder. Um, maybe, oops, sorry. Can anybody identify maybe flea, uh, fly bites or something? Maybe I'm not brush, sure. Brush them, brush them. She might like it. But she has a nice udder. Nice. She's already bagging up. The tail looks like my sister's hair. Huh? <laughs> Naughty. Yeah. 
She has a black black tip on the end of her tail, or is that poo? Hmm? Oh well. So, so yeah, she has a good udder. She obviously um, needs to be cleaned up, but she's gonna be a good girl. She doesn't mind being touched. Um, we'll get some ivermectin in her. Oh, not ivermectin. We'll put some Epernex on her. And, um, yeah. So we need a name for this girl. At first I was thinking Delilah, but then my husband said Samson and Delilah. And I was like, oh, oh no, not Delilah. So this is her, you guys. She's probably about, um, I don't know. She's not short. She's a little... I would say she's a little bit taller than Peaches was, so she's probably about 43 inches tall, I would say. Um, pretty girl, though. I mean, she's super pretty. She's a little on the gassy side right now. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I would love for y'all to give me some suggestions. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Honey. Honey would be a good name. I like that. Um, yeah, we'll see, but I'd love for you guys to, to comment down below, give me some suggestions. Um, she has a little couple markings on this side. What do you think of honey? You like honey? Whoop. Honey, that's not a good girl. And then on this side, yeah. And then she has some white markings on this side. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, now you know how I feel. Don't get kicked either. You're standing in the danger zone. There you go. How's that feel? So, like I said, we'll put some Epernex on her, which Epernex is a... It's a cattle dewormer. The stuff is not cheap. You can give it to them while they are pregnant and milking. So it's very safe to give. Um, and also we'll put some boss on her, which, um, what is it? Boss what? Boss plus or something like that. But anyways, it's for flies. So hopefully it'll keep the fly load down. But I believe with that stuff, you have to give it regularly. So, um, look, she's already looking a little prettier. Getting that nasty, yucky muck off of her. But she'll be pretty before no time. So, guys, it didn't take long. I mean, she's super sweet. She's only been here for, what, like maybe 45 minutes? So. I mean, she's a good girl. She gets nervous around the halter and and stuff, like if you pull her. But she'll let you pull her just a little nudge. And then she gets baby, a little scared baby. if you pull her too hard. Baby steps. Yeah, but baby steps. That's a, really, that's a really, really good first step. Because when we got Duchess, we couldn't handle her for a month. <laughs> it was a long time. But she's good. She's good. Yeah, she's a good girl. So as you can see, I'm standing like right up next to her. She comes up to my chest. You guys can see. I'll measure and and see how tall she is. I don't believe she's mini. Um, but she's small and statured. So she's going to be a good girl. I could already tell. She's going to be a good milk cow. So I'm going to get out of here. This muck. <laughs> So yeah, we're super excited about her. She's really cute. She's really pretty. She's got a nice personality. She has a great udder. And um, yeah, so we're happy. We just need a name for her. So if you guys would kindly put some comments down below of what you think we should name her, that would be excellent. But Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell so you know the next time that we post a video. And until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.
so pretty. Oh, you can't.